In this video, we're going to continue on with our athlete dashboard project by creating parts of our dashboard, including our athlete card here on the left-hand side, our ability to select the name and automatically pull up the jersey number of that athlete, and our title bar with date selector. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back, and as a reminder of how far we've come so far in the project in videos one and two, we have created this athlete info tab, which has all of the different information that we might want to store about an athlete, as well as created the data tab where we can have all of the athlete data and be able to pull that up. Now for this video, we're going to start to create our dashboard. So the first thing I'll do is just create a new sheet. And when I create this, I'm just going to move it to the front because that is one of the first tabs that I would want to see. And I'm just going to rename this um, wellness dashboard. And this is going to be where we um, create our dashboard. And one of the cool things about Google Sheets is if I go to this tab, I can click here and I can actually give it a color and just highlight it and that just sort of pulls it out from all of the other um, tabs that might be in my dashboard. Sometimes what I like to do is any of my data visualization tabs, I will mark them with one color and then any of my um, settings tabs or data tabs, I'll mark them with a different color just so I can easily identify them or have others easily identify them. Okay, so now to, to start to make this dashboard, what we need to do is start to size it properly and that's one of the most important things because when I go to print in Google Sheets, um, basically I can set the print areas, but if I size my sheet properly, it will always look good when I print. So for example, on the actual dashboard, if I go to print it, you can see that it prints nicely sort of to one sheet. So I'm gonna teach you kind of how to do that. So the first thing I like to do is I just like a buffer column on the one side. So I'm just gonna take column A and I'm going to resize that to about 10 pixels. Okay, so I just right clicked on it and hit resize and I'll hit okay. Then I like about three columns um, and I'm gonna right click resize these to 100 and these are gonna be used basically for my filters. So I'm just gonna type in dashboard filters here. We can go through and change all of the fonts and everything after, but I'm just going to put in all my pieces and then right click resize E, and we're gonna make that 10 as well. So this area here, um, and we'll just put a border around that so you can see it. This area here is where I'm going to put all of the filters that I use to size different things or to select different things in my actual dashboard. And then what I wanna do is actually now create um, this dashboard. And what I need to do is take 20 columns. So basically, um, if I just do this, one and then two, I'm going to copy these across. 14, let's keep going, 19, and there's 20. I'm going to take these 20 columns and right click on them, resize, and I'm going to make them 85 pixels and hit OK. And then just the Z at the end, I'm just gonna resize it down to 10, just to give it that little and a buffer zone. So these 20 columns, I'm going to take the first um, 14 of them, three rows for 14, and I'll merge that. And that will be where I put my title. And then the last sort of six, merge that, that is gonna be where I put my date. So what I'll start to do is I'm gonna color this in. I'm going to give it sort of um, kind of a pale blue color and then I'm gonna put a border around it that's like nice and thick black. So you can see it starts to shape it out really nicely. And let's type in workload monitoring dashboard in there. Um, so you can see it's hard to see, so I'll make it white. Maybe give it impact, make it quite a bit bigger. And then we'll center this, so that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here for the date, but my date header or um, title is actually going to be a drop down. So what I'll do is select this date um, spot and I'm going to go to data 
data validation. And for my list, I'll go to my control panel. Oh, actually, I'll go to my wellness data and I will select the date basically as my wellness data. So B2 all the way to B. And then when I hit save, I'll go back to my wellness dashboard. You can see now I can select any of those dates, but they're hard to show up. So let's take their colors and make them very similar to the other one that we've used. Let's put it in the middle and there we go. Now we can select the date that we actually want to see. And if I were to hide this, basically hide and then print, that's going to show up at the top. Okay. Um, we'll go to narrow margins and that's going to be sort of our top area. So that's part one. Now what I can do is use this to start to create the next parts of my actual dashboard. So I'll go control C and copy this and I'm going to just paste it down here, but unmerge it. And basically what I want to do is I want two columns um, by four or sorry, two rows by four columns. So I'm going to just merge that area. And that's going to be where we create our name selector. So I don't need this bottom piece here. I'll delete that. And then what I need is another two where we'll actually have our um, jersey number show up. So this is going to be our area for name selection. So I don't need the font to be quite as big. And we'll have the jersey number in here. So let's just basically center all of this text, make it in the middle, and I'll put the black border around this whole thing. And then basically for here, what we want is a drop down list. So I'm going to go to data, data validation, list from range, and I'll go to my athlete names. And I want B2 all the way down. So this is in our control panel. We pulled these out in video, um, I believe one. And I'll hit OK, save, and then I'll go back to my dashboard and I should be able to select any of these names and they appear right in there. Now in this box here, when I actually um, take the name, what I want to do is pull out the jersey number. So this formula is going to look like this. If this cell here does not equal blank, means that there's a name in it, then what I want to do is VLOOKUP this cell here, and I want to look it up in my athlete info tab, all of it, okay, and then return column two, false, close that off, and if it is blank, then just be blank, close the whole thing off and hit enter. So there's our jersey number, and we'll go down. So basically what we're doing here is once we select a name, we're checking to see if this um, selection is blank. If it is, if I were to be blank, then I just want this to show blank or basically no data. But if it's not, what I want to do is do a VLOOKUP for the name in all of the data. And I want to return the second column, which holds onto our Jersey numbers. And then the data is not sorted. So we put false and basically, um, then if it is blank, then just return blank. So that's that part. Now what I want to do is create the box where we will pull out all of our stats. So for this one, we want 10 rows and six columns. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, come all the way across. And I'm going to put that border around the whole thing. And then I'm going to put another border around here because that's where we're going to bring the image in. And then another border around here. And then I know that I'm already going to put the information in here. So I'm just going to merge these all together and I'm going to merge this one here. And then um, these I'm going to merge as well. Okay. Because I'm going to be pulling the information into here and you'll see what I mean in a second, but this is just how we would start to set the whole thing up. So what I want to do first, is I want to basically take this formula here. I'm going to copy it. And then what I'll do is paste it in here. But instead of returning column two, 
if I go to my athlete info, I actually want to return column one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for our cell image. So I'm going to use the same formula and just change it to nine. And now we get our actual athlete um, picture. And if I change my athlete, you can see the picture changes as well. So it's the same formula. We're just using that VLOOKUP to kind of come across and just pick the data that we want. So some of the things we might want to look at are date of birth. We might want um, age, maybe sport. Maybe we want a position. And maybe we want status. So these are some of the things that we might want to look at. So what I'm going to do is just give these the font that we had before. I personally like this one when it's colored gray. And I'll just make these a lot bigger and sort of put them in the middle here. So I think that looks pretty good. And we're going to use basically this same formula again and just return some of these values now. So basically if I put that in there, we know that date of birth is in three, age is in four, sport is in um, five, positions in six, and then status is in seven. So let's basically copy that formula over. So three, and then we want, um, paste that in there. We want four, whoops, I just need the same formula. One sec, let me just copy it over. Four, and then for sport, we'll copy it over again. We want five, and then position, we'll copy it over again. We want six, and then the last one, copy it over again, we want seven. So what I'm gonna do is basically give these that same sort of font of impact, we'll make them just a little bit smaller, and I'm gonna center all of these, and then I'm just going to change the borders to be that thick outside border. And I just realized that I spelled libero wrong, so let me just fix that in our control panel. So it should be L-I-B-E-R-O, and I'll change that in my athlete tab so that people don't think I'm ridiculous. So that is basically our um, information that we pull out. The last thing I want to do is actually highlight this status of good, limited, or out. So I'll create a data validation basically on this. Sorry, a conditional format. So if I go to format, conditional formatting, what we want to do is single color and text is exactly, let's say, good. We want it to be green. Done. Um, I'm going to hit done, we'll add another rule, text is exactly limited, then we want it to be sort of a yellow color, done, and then we'll do it one more time, text is exactly out, we want it to be sort of a red color, done. So let's go through our different athletes and see sort of what that looks like. You can see as the athlete actually changes, um, the status basically changes as well. So I hope this helps you out. It's just the first part of our dashboard. In our next video, we'll create some of the charts and statuses underneath. And then we will copy it over and create all of our print areas and everything so that you have a working dashboard. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you could share this with another coach you think would find it useful, that would really help the channel grow. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.